Today we will be solving string 2 get sandwich on codingbat.com. The question reads, a sandwich is two pieces of bread with something in between. Return the string that is between the first and last appearance of bread and the given string or return the empty string if there are not two pieces of bread. So in order to um, solve this question, we're going to create two int variables. We're going to, uh, you can name it whatever you want. In this case, I'll name it int first and int last. And int first is going to represent uh, the first occurrence of the word bread. And int last is going to represent the second occurrence of the word bread. So today we're going to be uh, writing two for loops for this problem. The first for loop will be int i equals zero, and i has to be less than str dot length minus five. And I'm going to explain in a little bit why it's length minus five. And now you're going to go into your if statement. If str dot substring i comma i plus five equals bread then last or my bad then first becomes I and then you break out of this for loop so basically why we're taking five taking uh, characters five at a time is because the word bread has five letters in it and that is why we're doing str.length minus five to avoid a compilation error so this for loop it's going to start off with zero and it's going to take the first five letters of str so zero one two three four and then it's gonna and then if i comma i plus five does not equal bread then the for loop's going to repeat itself until i comma i plus five equals bread and now we're going to uh, go on with our second for loop and this for loop is gonna so this first for loop was to find the first occurrence of bread and now the second for loop is going to be used to find the second occurrence of the word bread so now in the second for loop, it's going to be formed a little differently. And now str, or now i is going to equal str.length instead of zero, because, or str.length minus five, excuse me, because now we're going to uh, go back, backwards, instead of going forwards. So i um, has to be greater than or equal to zero, and i is going to subtract by one every single time you run this for loop. So now if str dot lay, uh, str dot substring is a comma, I comma, I plus five, if that equals the word bread, then last now becomes i and then you break out of this for loop so this is basically like the same idea as the first for loop but the only difference is that now you're start uh, going backwards and rather than going forwards and now we're going to go on with their last if statement so if first is not equal to negative one which means that there is an occurrence of uh, that that they found the word bread in the first for loop, and if last is not equal to one or negative one, which means that uh, we found the word bread in the second for loop, and first is not equal to last. which means that because if we don't do this 
right here, first is not equal to last, then there is a possibility that the first for loop and the second for loop find the same, uh, the uh, same bread at the same location. And then you want to return str.substring first plus five comma last. And now this is going to return the word, uh, the word in between the two breads. But otherwise, you're going to return nothing if all of this is false.